Hi, I'm Iggy with Lincoln Electric, and today we're gonna be showing you how to set up and unpack your new 2024 series, 4000 series CNC plasma cutting machine. First off, there's a couple of things that we, we wanna be aware of. Number one, when receiving your machine, always check for damage. Never receive a damaged machine from shipping. If it was damaged in shipping, we wanna make sure that it gets back and it does not get received, so that way we can get you a, a new machine that's not damaged at all. Number two, the new 2024 machines are gonna be coming in multiple pieces. So you're gonna get at least two pieces, the machine and the plasma cutter. You may get more pieces depending on any accessories that you purchased with the machine. We got our caster accessories right here, which we will show you how to install, which are gonna be very nice. Another thing we're gonna wanna be aware of, uh, this little guy right here, this is your computer. This tall piece here, this is your lifter station. The computer is always gonna be on the front right of the machine, which also means that your cable carrier and all of your wires are gonna be over here on the right-hand side as well. So that means do not ever cut the plastic wrap on the right-hand side over here. We always wanna cut and open the machine on this side over here, or farthest away from any electronics. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. Next step that we're gonna to wanna to make sure to look at is the right hand side where that cable carrier is. We never want to lift the machine from there. We're gonna to go to the opposite side, the left hand side, you're gonna see the fork pockets. We're gonna lift the machine up and put it into place. But since we got the caster accessories, we're gonna lift this up, take the regular leveling feet off, install the casters, and then we'll be able to roll the machine into place. Once the machine's in place, we'll just go ahead and jack the, use these leveling jacks in order to level the machine and make sure that the wheels themselves are not making contact with the ground anymore. Now the machine is kind of in place, remember that we wanna leave a little bit of room on the back wall for that cable carrier so it doesn't hit the back wall when the gantry goes all the way to the back. Now what we can do is we can come in here, cut these zip ties, we've got two here. We've also got one here on the lifter station, okay? And then we can kind of start unpacking wires and then we're gonna need an eighth inch Allen and we're gonna take off these hard stops, the pieces that actually hold the gantry into place. So there's gonna be one on each side. Wanna be careful not to cut any cables or anything here. We just wanna get this wrap off. A little bit of tape on the side. Unpack the plasma cutter. Um, it should be these little guys right here. Oh, I hate when that happens. Now, these are pretty heavy, so I always recommend getting a, some help lifting these up and moving them into place. Once we have the plasma cutter into place, we can start hooking up some of the cables. If you did get the plasma cutter mounting accessory, you would have a place to set this, but we're just gonna put this right on the ground next to the machine for now. So let's go ahead and open up the box full of our cables. You're gonna have several cables in here. This gray and black cable is gonna be connected. This is going to be your CNC interface cable. That's gonna go right into here where you've got this 15 pin connector. I think it's 15, don't quote me on that. You're gonna screw that all the way in. This thick black connector right here, this is gonna be your work lead, so this is gonna go directly to the plasma cutter as well. Right below the CNC interface cable. We wanna make sure that this is never coiled up, we want this to be as straight as possible, so maybe loop it behind the plasma cutter. This green cable here, this is gonna be your earth ground. So you're gonna have to, if you haven't already, you're gonna drill a hole through the concrete, put about eight to 10 foot ground rod, copper plated steel rod into the ground. And this is what we connect up to that earth ground. This is going to be your secondary work lead. Um, so if, you, if you're cutting on rusted or extremely painted material or something like that, that's having a hard time connecting to the 
um, arc, the arc connecting to the material, we're gonna go ahead and clamp this directly to the material itself. But ma the majority of the time, you won't actually need to use this on the material. Next thing we're gonna look at is in this little box. This is gonna be your torch lead. We're gonna make sure to pull off this little cap here. There's a little index pin here that's gonna go straight up. And then we're gonna plug that to the left-hand side of the plasma cutter. Screw that in. And last but not least, the last cable in here, this is gonna be our 110 hookup. As soon as we plug this in, it will start the, the computer on the system. So make sure that your e-stop is pushed in to make sure that it doesn't also power on the AccuMove controller. You're gonna notice that your computer is now on. Little blue light indicator here means that the computer is on. We will also be able to see our, power, our computer starts to power up. We can also turn this quarter turn to the right, which will also turn on our controller, which we can see indicated right here on the face of your machine. You have a little power indicator light. When we look at that, we should be getting a green blinking light, just like this. The blinking light indicates that the controller is trying to connect to the computer. Once we get a solid green light, that means we are connected, the controller itself is connected to the computer and they are communicating and we can then start moving the machine around. So we'll make sure to clear off the table of any extra debris. We want to make sure, double check there, we didn't drop any tools into where our gear rack and uh, linear guide is. We don't want to damage anything when we first start moving the machine. Okay, looks like we're clear. From here, we can see that our green light is solid. Our machine is connected. We can then go and press datum, and the machine itself will start to move and find its zero location. There are two little pieces of styrofoam underneath the torch. We'll want to remove those as well. Now that the machine is operational and moving, we can jog the gantry to the back or keep it to the front. We want to make sure that, number one, the drain here is closed and we can start filling this with water. Each table will have its own amount of water, so look in the user manual to know exactly how much water to put in, in your machine, in your new 4000 series machine. And each machine will take a certain amount of plate guard or water additive. Make sure to reference that as well. So uh, the, for instance, the five by 10 machine will take ten, uh, 15 gallons and the four by four machine will take five gallons and the little bit more for the four by, the five by five and a little bit more for the four by eight. Um, so just look that up in your usual manual to know exactly how much plate guard to put in. You're also going to need to get a certified electrician to wire up your plasma cutter. And then once that's done, we just plug our air in and we can start cutting. On the 2024 model Torchmate CNC plasma cutting machines, 4000 series, to get access to the controller, which is mounted right here on the front of the machine, you will have to remove this front skirt. To do so, you're going to remove the eight screws, four on each side. These are gonna be metric. They're gonna be a three millimeter Allen head. Go ahead and remove that skirt and you will get access to the back of the controller itself and any cables that are back there. So that's how easy it is to set up your new 2024 4000 series CNC plasma cutting table. If you need some training, which we always recommend getting training because there is gonna be a little bit of learning curve on the table and the CAD program, go ahead and go to torchmate.com forward slash seminars to sign up or call our parts department at 775-673-2200.